Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User and we welcome you all to the hands-on evaluation of the build 14946, the latest Windows 10 mobile build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastream. The build is the latest uh, in Redstone 2 or summer update uh, uh, version. Uh, we have recently uh, reported that the coming Redstone 2 update or the summer update will be known as 1703 which means uh, it should be ideally out for PCs in March 2017 and uh, coming to mobile since uh, usually we have seen a trend that the mobile updates are delayed by one or two months so we can imagine that uh, the Redstone 2 or summer update will arrive for everyone uh, in either April or May 2017 now coming to how the build behaves and uh, other stuff so we will first talk about the installation experience an installation experience for the build 14946 cannot be said to be ideal it is far from ideal actually there are like many people faced many issues and especially if you have any language pack installed extra language pack installed so you will face issues there was an error which was coming i think microsoft later fixed it but uh, as per reports from our readers we saw that or we heard that uh, they faced issues while installing it in our case uh, for some reason actually it has happened quite smoothly so uh, we could see that uh, our uh, <coughs> Lumia 640 XL was able to update in like 45 to 50 minutes and everything was okay but as I said the experience is not the same for everyone many have faced many issues coming to how the build behaves so uh, when we installed and updated to this build uh, I mean many things were not working frankly so I think this is the first build which had uh, which has caused uh, so many issues for me so the microsoft edge was not working the mails were not opening and etc etc there were many issues so we i had to uh, do a hard reset so i did a hard reset and after hard resetting uh, things are working fine now i can open the microsoft edge and it's, it works fine but as you can guess uh, <coughs> due to the reason that there are many fresh codes available in this build it will obviously come come as a very you know fastering kind of build which obviously will have lots of bugs so if you don't want to upgrade to this build we can say that it's better that you can avoid it because it will obviously it has got many issues so there are chances that you have to do hard reset because as we have to do so now coming to how the build behaves after doing a hard reset it's quite uh, i mean it has a trademark smoothness of redstone The build uh, brings the edge 15 and it also brings a new high score for HTML uh, testing. So we are doing HTML6 test. So you can see a very uh, good score actually 463 out of 555 which is really a appreciable very respectable score and it says you are using edge 15. Now if we talk about this then uh, there is one very interesting aspect of it so if you go to settings you can see that there is one option or do more with microsoft edge the first i mean this is change my default option so we have actually reported it in uh, one of our article but uh, you can now see it live that this option now it does not do anything if you uh, tap on this change my default it will just take you to the settings it does not allow you to change the default browser but hopefully in future it will do that 
So as soon as I tap on that, it takes me to the settings. But uh, <coughs> I think that uh, the code for that, uh, you know, changing the default browser is missing. So it will, it may come in the next future builds uh, for Redstone 2, but it seems that we'll very soon see it happening. So that is a very good thing. Now coming to one more thing that we wanted to demo is uh, if you go to the starts, I mean, if you go to the multitasking, <coughs> So the, you can see the start and uh, earlier it was not possible but now you can actually drop this card so the start ui card can be dropped and once you drop it what it does is it refreshes all the tiles all the tiles are refreshed <clears throat> so now coming to the general impression as we said once you i mean before i mean it may happen that if you have just updated you may face or encounter many issues i mean it may crash it may restart uh, things may not work the like microsoft edge may not work store may not work and other things but if you've done a hard reset it be becomes quite smooth as you can see till now in, during a hands-on time it has not uh, given us many uh, issues or headaches it's working fine but we would like to tell you that <clears throat> there have been like once or twice it has uh, kind of during our work during heavy multitasking it has uh, restarted on its own so <laughs> there you can see that obviously the build has gone buggy because this is the phase where uh, now the new features are coming so <clears throat> i mean it, it depends if you're like a fostering insider who really wants to take this thing into stride it's fine otherwise you can actually avoid it you can go to slow daily. now coming to how uh, the gaming etc works here so let's just check quickly with one or two games <clears throat> Let's enter the background. Let's quickly open one or two more. I send it to the background so now we can do quickly check the multitasking how it works <clears throat> so multitasking somehow still remains good we check the subway surfer the resume is really quick as we expect uh, with an optimized game for windows 10 you check real rush it would not resume so fast but still uh, i don't think there will be any crash but it resumed well We can quickly check whether there are like any issues with the video play etc. I mean we can go to Oh, 
Fresh start. Fresh start number nine. So as you can see the video playback uh, is quite okay. So if you talk about uh, this uh, build 14946, the battery life has been uh, not that good. If I compare to the even the earlier build 14936, we see that I mean still it shows one day 22 hours etc. But uh, frankly speaking the battery life uh, has not been that good. So uh, even like a Lumia 640XL which usually gives you a battery life of 28-30 hours. It, it's uh, kind of it will get discharged in like 20 to 24 hours so the battery life degradation is there it's not very steep but still you will uh, quite notice it so there we are uh, as we said the build is a buggy it it is a fastering build with uh, new code insertion so uh, you may need to you know do a hard reset and then it runs uh, really fine i mean we are using this device as a daily driver and we can say that we can live with it but again if you compare with earlier build earlier build we did not see you know random crashes or random restarts with this build we have seen it happening once or twice so <clears throat> depends upon you how you you know whether you want to take that risk and go for uh, this build or you can just avoid it but there are no <coughs> kind of guarantee that next build will not bring such kind of issues so uh, coming to major bugs and uh, so like we as we just uh, just now we mentioned so I mean, you, you major bugs or issues, you may face issues while doing an update or upgrading to this build. Then you can face issues once you have upgraded, you may have to do a hard reset. Then there are minor, you know, restart, random restart, random reboots which are happening. Apart from that, there are like issues with the mail. So once you have upgraded, we have seen that <clears throat> there you have to constantly go and fix the mail. So such kind of issues exist, which obviously you have to think about it. And... Uh, so with that we come to end of this uh, video review of the build 14946 hope you have liked it stay tuned keep watching